Nobody purposely fails a check ride. Unfortunately, several recent articles have pointed out that first time failure rates in the United States for the private pilot check ride are approaching 40 to 50 percent. I find that frightening. So what can you do to increase your chances of passing? As I think about what designated pilot examiners have noted when students struggled, there are several recurring themes. In the next five minutes, we'll explore seven things that can lead to disapproval and what you can do differently. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> One, not being familiar with the Airman Certification Standards or ACS. I I've been surprised at the number of candidates who show up for a final stage check without a copy of the ACS or with a copy that has obviously never been used. Waiting until the end of training to review the ACS is a mistake. This document is a valuable resource that should be used throughout training. It lists everything that will be on the exam and the criteria used to determine success or failure. If you haven't done so yet, get a copy and get familiar with it. Two, not knowing your airplane. There are actually two parts to this. The first is knowing whether or not your aircraft is airworthy. While private pilot candidates are not expected to be airframe and power plant mechanics, they should be familiar enough with the maintenance logs and aircraft documents to determine that the aircraft is airworthy and ready for the check ride. Can you identify the required inspections? Can you find them in the maintenance logs? And how much time is left before they're required again and your airplane becomes an expensive paperweight? The second is being familiar with the POH for the airplane you fly. Like the ACS, this reference should be an old friend. If you don't know where to start, focus on sections 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. These sections contain limitations, emergency and normal operating procedures including V-speeds, performance information, weight and balance information, and the aircraft systems. Things like V-speeds and limitations should be memorized. You should be familiar with the rest of the information and able to find things quickly. The next struggle point is not bringing all the required materials. Not sure what to bring? The ACS has a checklist. And since you now have a copy of the ACS, hint, hint, <laughs> make sure to write in any additional items you think you'll need for your test. Four, not creating the right impression. Treat your check ride like a job interview for a job that you really, really want. Dress presentably, act professionally, and organize your materials for easy use. Pilot examiners are trained professionals and are often very good at putting you at ease and creating the best environment for your practical test. However, they're also human, and like most of us, they make first impressions very quickly. If you project competence, professionalism, and organization, you will be off to a great start. Five, not completing your scenario planning or completely relying on automated tools like ForeFlight. Each scenario often has multiple challenges associated with it. Try to discover what they are and look for ways to address them. Then, be able to explain the reasons why you made each decision and where any performance data came from. <laughs> Saying, that's what ForeFlight gave me or my instructor always did it that way probably won't be acceptable. Six, not being prepared to put your knowledge and skills into practice. I've seen candidates who've memorized almost everything still struggle on the check ride. See, your check ride isn't just about knowing the facts and flying well. You're being tested on your ability to use the knowledge you've gained. Your ability to assimilate information and use it to make safe aeronautical decisions is critical. Seven, not saying anything. Whether you're trying to remember an answer or performing one of the tasks during the flight portion of your check ride, think out loud. Most DPE have great experience and instincts, but despite what you might have heard, very few can read minds. The best way to show a DPE you know what's supposed to be happening is to tell them. Talk through your maneuvers. Verbally walk through your thought processes. <laughs> One of my local FAA safety inspectors said, the best way to keep a DPE from asking questions is to be talking. <laughs> there you have it. While this list isn't exhaustive, these seven things have stymied others. And now you know and can avoid them. I wish you the best of luck on your check ride. If you found this video helpful, Please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also, please check out the links in the description below. If you're an Amazon shopper, using the link doesn't cost you anything extra, but any purchases can provide a small commission that helps support the production of these videos. Or you can send a tip using Buy Me A Coffee. Either would be greatly appreciated.
Finally, if you're looking for more flight training information, I'd recommend watching this video next. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching, fly safely, and I'll see you next time.